Hi folks, it's the China Guitar Skeptic back again. Um, just a very, very quick video this time, just to try out some new video lights that I'm trying, um, which hopefully will show the colours of these guitars a lot better. Um, and also just to give you a quick update, very brief update, on what I've done with the, um, the, the custom order PRS. Um, there she is, lovely colour purple. I hope that that now is much easier to see and to see the colour of this beautiful guitar. Uh, complete with fingerprints and all. Um, what have I done with it since I last showed you the uh, unboxing? Well, I've swapped out the pickups for Zebra Striped Entwistle Dark Stars, which sound absolutely lovely. Um, and I have also been working on this guitar for some time now. Um, I've had to incrementally tighten the truss rod because the neck, I think, was set a little bit too uh, steep an angle. Uh, which means that the truss rod, in order to pull it back into true and give it a bit of decent relief, incidentally, the way to check for um, proper neck relief is to fret the first and last fret, and you should be able to just fret a couple of frets in both top and bottom and, and have uh, those notes ring. So if it's too far back, then when you fret both ends, then the string will um, touch out on the frets in the middle there. So what I have done is uh, over a period of five or six days, I've tightened the, tr truss, tightened the truss rod just a little bit more each day um, because if you do it too much in one go, you can break the neck, um, break the truss rod. And this one has needed to be tightened significantly. So I've done it in incremental steps, allowed it to rest and to get used to being that tight and the neck pulled in a little bit uh, and, and I've just about got the right amount of relief on the neck now. However, the, uh, the frets still have some issues up around the 7th, the 12th and the 15th fret. So there will be a video soon um, on how to um, file down and level the frets uh, very, very quickly and easily. So uh, be sure to watch back for that one very soon. Uh, also, I hope that this is a better idea of the colour of this guitar. And also, I would really like to show you the true colour under these new lights of uh, Mitzi, the Chipson. So, by the magic of YouTube, there she is. And I hope that these lights do, do this beautiful colour a little bit more justice uh, because this is a really, really nice colour guitar. I love it without the scratch plate on. Um, and she is playing absolutely beautifully now, as you may well have heard on some of my other videos so far. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you take care and rock on. <laughs>